Welcome to today's video, my name is DB and today we're going to talk all about artisans and what they are in Diablo 3. So let's just run those intros. Okay, so let's talk artisans. We have got the blacksmith, the jeweler and the mystic. Let's go straight over to the armory and the blacksmith. So this is where you can forge weapons. You can do things like axes, right the way through to 200 swords, one. it's all alphabetical for every character that you've got. So you've got hand crossbows, you've got fist weapons, uh, you've got a dagger, you've got crossbows, axes, like I said, spears, swords, two-handed maces, mighty weapons, etc. So what happens is you click on one, and then it tells you what required materials that you have. So craft, and then it's there. A uh, little tip. Is you can craft as many as you like. So click five, does five thousand, takes five seventy-five of each of those, and then all five appear in your inventory. Also do the same for armor. So you've got belts, same thing. Boots, braces, chest armor, etc. Wizard hat, voodoo mask, everything that you want for armor. Up here, you have got highest usable and have materials. So what's the ones that I can use for this character? I've got the bones there, etc. And then we also have have materials. So what materials do I have? Gold materials. You can also do salvage. So say we don't want these yellow items. Click there. Now I've got six veiled crystals. Thank you very much. You can also get rid of ancient items. Or legendary items, sorry. Just by right clicking on, left clicking on it. And get rid of it. You also have repair, so this repairs either the equipped damage, or the equipped damaged items, or all items in your inventory. So, obviously you have your train there, so train from level 1 right the way up to level 12. You need death breaths when you get to level 10 for your blacksmith. So, moving on to the jeweler. So, the jeweler, again, you need to train from 0, oh sorry, from 1 to 12. You have to, they allow you to do combining gems. So... The, you get plans for these, the same as you do in the blacksmith. You get plans to do, um, I think it starts at uh, Imperials, and then works its way up to Royal Flawless Royals. So you've got very early game. You'll start getting these three items here, and then, oh, sorry, these four. And then you'll go up to um, that when you start hitting Torment levels. You get the Marquise uh, and above. When you start hitting the torment levels so you've got the amethyst the diamond the emerald the ruby and the topaz so you go all the way up from flawless topaz to flawless royal topaz you can also forge jewelry uh, i've gone all this is where you get your hellfire amulet uh, and all different types of jewelry as well rings and amulets you can remove gems from a socketed item so go here remove gem now I've got my Zay's Zone of Vengeance and my Traveller's Pledge there. Just pop that back. And that's that. And finally you have the Mystic. So you can enchant something. So if we take an item such as this, we can then take a look at what we want to change. So do I not need Reign of Vengeance? No, I still need Reign of Vengeance. Maybe I don't need Red Generated Life per Second. So when I look at that, it then can replace it with one of these items. Now the, you get a roll each time, so let's let's give it a go. So now I've either got fifteen percent life, or increases hatred regeneration by one point two sec, one point three eight seconds. Uh, I'm gonna stick. Oh, actually, hmm. So you can keep rolling to get better gear. That's the essence of what you're trying to do here. So next up you have Transmogrify, so this is where you can actually change the look of your character uh, to make it more customizable. So it's irrelevant of what you've got in. Uh, you can actually make it look however you want. That would not be wise. So let's just change this up a little bit. Where it is. So I can actually make Natalia's look like Marauders. Uh, 
as marauders. So now my character looks like it's got Marauder's gear on, but actually it's got Natalia's gear on. And finally you have dyes, so you can actually go in and change the colour of the armour that you're wearing. So if you just want it all black, so again it just gives you that customization option, which is really cool. Uh, this is where you get some really interesting characters out of it as well. So let's have a little look. So yeah, I'm actually running Natalia's build, but I have the Marauder set in black. And that's that. Artisans Explained, it's a really short video, really basic. I just wanted to get it out there just so people understood what they do. My name is DB. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I hope it's given you some sort of insight on what the Artisans do and why we have them. Uh, if you want to have anything else explained uh, within the world of Diablo 3, hit me up, hit me in a comment. Uh, and let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all again soon.